Welcome to the Iputronic Online Academy. This video series will cover various topics in easy to follow along videos. Additional assistance can be provided through the worldwide Iputronic locations. Iputronic is currently made up of five different business units. This video will focus on the measure and motion products. In today's video, we will cover some of the more advanced post-processing features inside of IPMotion. We will look at the Data Manager tab in more detail and focus on how to enhance data by adding and removing channels and calculations, how to export data, and how to convert it into different file formats. We will then move on to the Analysis tab and see how our post-processing visualization can be used to display the recorded data. The final part of this video will show how to convert the Analysis tabs into PDF reports and add markers to share. This tutorial begins in the Data Manager tab where we will load a previously recorded measurement file from a data logger. IPMotion also supports the import of other file formats as listed here. When the file is successfully imported, we will see a list of all the available channels and measurement values in a table format. Multiple files can be imported at the same time into the Data Manager. The available files that have been imported as well as the channels that are inside of those files will be listed towards the left of the screen in the tree structure. When a measurement file is highlighted, the bottom of the tree will also display some additional information about the file. This will contain information that was manually entered into the project tab and additional information such as version numbers and dates. When a signal is highlighted in the tree, it also highlights in the table overview. One feature that's easily accessible inside of the Data Manager is the export to different file formats. Click on Export and choose the file format that you'd like to export to from the drop-down menu. Please note that not all file formats are compatible with all types of data. For example, a CSV file will not support a video channel. If you want to modify your file before you export it, click on the little arrow below Export and select Detailed Export. In this sub-menu, you'll be able to select not only the file format, but also the duration inside of the measurement file that you would like to export. Let's say that 8 hours of data were recorded, but only 2 of those hours are interesting. Select the start and stop point of those 2 hours and click Export. You can also remove channels if they're not relevant for whoever is receiving the file. Simply deselect the channels and click Export after your selection is complete. While IPMotion supports live calculation of channels, it is not unlikely that calculations need to be performed after the recording is complete. In order to add a calculated channel after the recording, select Formula and enter the formula as you would in a live recording. Select the channel that the operation is supposed to be performed on on the left and select the operator on the right. In this case, we will convert kilometers per hour, which is recorded by the GPS, to miles per hour by adding a multiplication. We will also add a classification to show how much time the vehicle spent at certain speed levels. Because we want to see the g-forces displayed on a polar diagram, we will run an angle and a radius calculation so we can display the data appropriately. Now that our post-processing in the Data Manager is completed, there is also a way to export this into an Excel spreadsheet. Simply click the Excel button in the top blue ribbon. The Excel document will pop up automatically after the operation is completed. When the data is viewed in the Analysis tab, the left side of the screen is the familiar tree structure that contains all the files and the individual channels. The table next to the tree shows the current value of all the displayed channels depending on the analysis cursor position. All data is time synchronized, so moving the cursor on the video or the YT chart results in the same values. If we select the range cursor option in the top ribbon, a second cursor is added. 
The table will now automatically expand to show the value of cursor 1, the value of cursor 2, and the delta between them. We can now also run calculations across the range for minimum, maximum, and deviation, as well as average values. Right-click on the top of the table, select the column chooser, and add the columns that you wish to calculate. When your range is selected, click the formula button towards the top left of the table to run the calculation. These are the features once the view screen has been configured. Now we will go through step-by-step -step on how to get to this point. Configuring dashboards for analysis is the same as configuring view screens. Go back to the videos linked here to learn more. We will start by adding the polar diagram as the first visualization element. We will now add the angle and radius calculation that we previously did in the data manager. Make sure that you add them one at a time. To make it easier to read, we will rotate the polar diagram by negative 90 degrees. We will now separate the area into the grid layout that we want to display the rest of the channels. After the grid is laid out, right-click in the empty areas and select the visual elements that you want to use to display the channels. Simply drag and drop the signals that you want to display from the tree onto the visual element that you've selected. When selecting a map element, just like with the polar diagram, make sure that you add latitude and longitude one at a time. An internet connection is required for the map element to display properly. If there is no internet connection, the route will still be visible, but the map will be added once an internet connection is available. The final step will be adding the classification element that will display the classification that we calculated in the Data Manager tab. If the range cursors are selected, right-click on the range that you have selected and select Export Cursor Range. All signals within the cursor range will then be transferred into a new file. If you would like to share the results of your analysis dashboard, go to the reporting tab to create a PDF. Your current view will be converted into a PDF document that can be marked up with different tools. Select the view pages and the project parameters that you want to be included in the PDF. Simply check the checkboxes in the tree structure. To add markups such as text, arrows, shapes, or images, select the appropriate item from the top ribbon. We will add a text box, an arrow, and an image for the purpose of this demonstration. Feel free to replace the IPMotion logo with your own company. When the markup is completed and you're ready to share your document, click the PDF button and enter the additional information if required. You can then save the PDF and open it, as well as share it with anyone even if they do not have the IPMotion software installed. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our info at IPtronic email address or your local IPtronic branch office.